example four is slightly more complicated. We're asked to find negative 3a plus 6b. Okay, so what, I'm, what I need to do is multiply matrix A by negative 3, multiply matrix B by 6, and then add those together. Just to make sure I can add them eventually, I verify the dimensions as 3 rows, 2 columns, and 3 rows, 2 columns. So I will be able to add them. Okay, just to note, it, looking at the distributive property uh, that says that k, a scalar, times a plus b, these two matrices, equals ka plus kb. So there's actually another way I could do this. I could say, all right, I'm going to uh, factor out that the 3, or the negative 3, actually. And then I'm going to end up with a minus 2b. This would be another way to do that. However, uh, it's a toss-up which way is easier. I'm going to go ahead and just follow this original, but you actually, if you felt like this way is easier, could have done it this way. Okay. Okay, so <clears throat> starting out, the first thing we're going to need to do is, <coughs> excuse me, multiply by um, a by negative 3, the scalar negative 3. Okay, and from that I can find 3a. I want to find 3a. So, this is negative 3 and a, and I want to find 3a. Negative 3a. Okay, so recall that all we're going to do is multiply each element of the matrix by the scalar. And that will give me 3 here. Negative 3 times 0 is 0. Negative 3 times um, 2 is negative 6. Negative 3 times negative 1 is 3. Negative 3 times 3 is 9. And let's see, then I've got negative 3 times 4 is negative 12. Okay, now what I also need to do is find 6b. Okay, so here I have 3a. I need to find 6b. So I have b over here. 0, negative 3, negative 4, 6, 4, and 9. So I have b. I'm going to multiply it by 6, and that's going to give me 6b. So figuring this out, it's 6 times 0 is 0. 6 times negative 3 is negative 18. 6 times negative 4, negative 24. 6 times 6, 36. 6 times 4, 24. And 6 times 9, that's 54. All right, so here I have 3a. Here I have 6b. Now I need to add those. I need to add those. So let me go ahead and move this, put copy 6b right over here so I can add it. Okay, 0, negative 18, negative 24, 36, 24, and 54. Okay, now, erasing that, these two are no longer equal. Okay, all I need to do with matrix addition is to add the corresponding elements. So I'm going to add 3 and 0, and this is going to give me 3. I'm going to add 0 and negative 18 to get negative 18. Negative 6 and negative 24 is negative 30. 3 and 36 is 39. 9 and 24, or excuse me, that, this actually should be negative 9. Correct that. That's negative 3 times 3, that is negative 9, plus 24 is 15. And then I've got negative 12 and 54 to give me 42. So this here is negative 3a plus 6b. So right here is my solution. And what I did is I took a, I multiplied it by the scalar negative 3, 
to get this, 3a. I took 6 and I multiplied it by the second matrix b to get 6b. Then I added 3a plus 6b to get negative 3a, it's negative 3a actually, plus 6b as my solution. That concludes this lesson on matrix operations at educator.com. I'll see you next lesson.